We're gonna talk about NAD. Actually, what we're gonna talk about is what happens to our bodies while we need NAD. NAD stands for nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. It's easier just to say NAD, so that's what we're gonna do. But if you go to a textbook or you go online and you start looking up what NAD is, it's actually part of what drives your mitochondria to produce energy. So we've all seen these diagrams of mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cell in a textbook or online somewhere. And what that diagram with the little squiggly line in it represents is the series of reactions that ultimately end up in your body generating ATP or energy. And NAD is one of the main currencies or main molecules that your body uses to produce ATP at the end of that cycle. There's a lot of other things that go into that, but NAD is one of the major components. NAD got its popularity probably 30 or 40 years ago as we were treating people with addiction. We knew that if we treated them with NAD, the likelihood that they would have a return to their addiction or that their uh, withdrawal from the drugs would be so severe that we were lessening both of those, right? We decreased recidivism and we made the detox and withdrawal process easier easier for people. And now NAD has been touted for its anti-aging properties and we could literally list a dozen things, positive things that NAD does for our bodies.